Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I'm bringing you today's word from March 6, 2014. The title of the message is Sweatless Abundance by Grace. The Father wants you to experience sweatless abundance in every area of your life, and He wants you to experience it by His undeserved grace. So let's pick up where we left off yesterday. We're right here in John chapter 15, verses 1 through 8. We picked up, we learned some golden nuggets, right, from John 15, 1 through 8 yesterday. But I believe there's a lot more gold in that passage. So let's go back and do a little bit more mining. Going right back to the same passage, Jesus said, I am the real vine and my father is the farmer. He cuts off every branch in me that doesn't bear grapes. And every branch that is grape bearing, he prunes it back so that it will produce even more. You are already pruned by the message I've spoken. He said, live in me, make your home in me, just as I do in you. And in the same way, a branch can't bear in the same way that a branch can't bear grapes by itself, but only by being joined to the vine, you can't bear fruit unless you're joined with me. Jesus said, I'm the vine, you are the branches. When you're joined with me and I with you, the relation intimate and organic, the harvest is sure to be abundant. Separated, you can't produce a thing. Anyone who separates from me is dead wood, gathered up and thrown into the bonfire. But if you make yourselves at home with me and my words are at home in you, you can be sure that whatever you ask will be listened to and acted upon. This is how my father shows you who he is when you produce grapes, when you mature as my disciples. He's the vine, we're the branches, we're connected to him, we're supposed to mature as his life-giving power flows through us. So that, what does this mean to you today? I, I have three things I want to share with you today from this passage. Number one. You are connected to the life of God. Do you realize that you're connected to the life of God? Jesus characterized himself as the vine and we as the branches. And it's obvious that the branches cannot live without the vine. What might be less obvious is that the life of the vine flows through. I mean, quite literally flows through the branches. Yesterday, I wrote a productive and fruitful branch is really just an extension of the vine and it becomes a conduit through which the life producing power of the vine is manifested. The life of the vine is manifested through the branches and that life of the vine that's manifested through the branches produces fruit. So the fruit is not on the vine, the, the fruit is on the branches. So the fruit is us. The fruit comes through us and God's life giving power flowing through us produces fruit. In one of his later letters, the apostle John wrote, this is the testimony in essence. God gave us eternal life. This life is in his son. So whoever has the son has life. Whoever rejects the son rejects life. Remember, Jesus is divine and he is life. When we have him, we have life. Well, that word life is a Greek word, zoe. It's the life that flows through the vine. He is God's life. The God type of life, zoe, flows through us from the vine, through the branches. So that, that, that God type of life. We're connected to it, and once we're born again and the Holy Spirit is, is in us, He takes up residence in us, now we are directly connected to God, we have direct access to Zoe, the God type of life, and that life comes to us to affect change in us, and then it flows through us to affect change in the lives of others. So remember, uh, the Lord wants to reach or impact the people of the world and the systems of the world, and He wants to do it through you. His Zoe comes to change you, and then his Zoe will flow through you to impact your sphere of influence. Number two, the point of our life is to allow his life to flow through us. I mean, really, that's what it boils down to. I'm talking about dying to self, living for him, minimizing your humanity, maximizing the divinity that he has placed in you. At the end of the day, the point of your life is to allow his life to flow through you. While it is true that God's life uh, does flow through us after we're born again, it is also true that his life can only flow through us to the extent that we allow it. The problem for most of us is that we have too much of us in the way. The more we die to self, the more God's life, his Zoe, will be manifested in and through us. And number three and finally, an intimate relationship with God produces sweatless abundance. I'm talking about sweatless abundance. Jesus said, when you're joined with me and I with you, the relation, intimate and organic, then the harvest is sure to be abundant. The Father does not want you to just produce fruit. The Bible is clear that he wants you to produce much fruit and he wants your fruit to remain. He wants your fruit to endure for the long haul. 
This type of fruitful, productive, and abundant life can only come as a result of an intimate relationship with the Father, through the Son, with the assistance of the Holy Spirit. And the good news is that, watch this, you don't even really have to work hard to make it happen. We've already learned that God blesses us by His grace. He blesses us because He's so good, not because we are. But the point of this is, is that this intimate uh, an organic relationship produces abundant fruit, right? So the closer you get to God, the more fruit you will produce because our text says that this production will be organic. It would just come as a byproduct. And the closer you get to God, you will naturally be more productive. The closer you get to God, naturally, you, you, you live the abundant life. It's not something that you're even going to realize that you're working for. Really, what it is that you're dying for, it. you're not working for it, you're getting out of the way. Um, prospering in God in every area of your life, watch this, is not effortless, but it should be sweatless. Let me say that again. It's not effortless, but it should be sweatless. It comes as a result of dying to self and allowing God's Zoe to flow through you. So let's close this out with a confession of faith. Say, Father, I thank you for helping me to get to the point where I experience sweatless abundance by your grace in every area of my life. I don't deserve the life you destined me to have. I can never earn what you've done for me. I'm not worthy of your profuse favor and blessing. However, you have chosen to freely bless me by your undeserved grace. I receive it, and for that I'll forever be thankful. I'm the branch, you're the vine. And your life-giving power, your Zoe, has come to me to change me, and it now flows through me to impact the lives of others. The point of my life is to simply allow your life to flow through me. It's your life flowing through me that will change the world. And I know I need to die to self in order to allow your life to flow through me freely. There was a point in my life when I was born again, but there was still too much of me in the way and people could not see you in me. But by faith, I declare that I get to the point where people clearly see you in me every day in every way. This way, my intimate relationship with you produces much fruit in every area of my life and I experience divine prosperity. I am a prosperous man. I live the life you want me to live. I enjoy your best in every area of my life. It is not effortless, but it is sweatless. I declare this by faith in Jesus name. Amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. Have a blessed day. God bless you.